Today, I've got a problem from the Oxford University Maths Admissions Test. Now, this problem caught out lots of students, so let's see if you will get caught out as well. Depending on the value of the constant d, the equation dx squared minus d minus 1x plus d equals 0 may have two real solutions, one real solution, or no real solutions. For how many values of d does it have just one real solution? And the answer is either 1, 2, 3, or infinitely many values of d. Okay, so this is a quadratic, so we'll do the thing that we kind of want to do is look at the discriminant of this guy. So the discriminant is minus d minus 1 squared minus 4 times d times d, or 4d squared, and we want to make that equal 0 because we want this to have one real solution. Um, so we look at this thing, and if we expand this out, we're going to get d squared minus 2d plus 1 uh, minus 4d squared equals 0. So if I bring everything onto one side, so I get 3d squared plus 2d minus 1 equals zero like so and the question is well how many values of d satisfy this equation um this does factorize i notice that when i substitute d is minus one into this i get three minus two minus one so that tells me that d plus one is a factor and then i also notice that then i can just do three d minus one equals zero equally here i could just use the discriminant or also just notice here that the d inter or the y intercept if i was to sketch y equals three x squared plus two x minus one the y intercept is negative one and so therefore, because it's a positive quadratic, it must have two distinct real solutions. Anyway, it, the solutions are d is minus 1 and d is a third, so the answer is b. Also, you might think, that is what most students would have done uh, for this, but there's actually another value of d. What's gone wrong? So I really encourage you to pause the video here. If this is the method you did and you thought the answer was 2, pause the video here to see what's gone wrong. There's nothing wrong with the algebra, but there's something has gone wrong. Okay, let's reveal what's going wrong here. We want this equation to have one real solution. And what we've done here is looked at the discriminant. And this is a beautiful math uh, MAT question because it really forces you to know why on earth we do this. Well, where does the discriminant equaling zero come from? Well, it comes from the quadratic formula. To use the quadratic formula, we better have a quadratic. But surely this is a quadratic, right? Well, maybe not, right? If d is 0, this term at this front becomes 0x squared. It's no longer a quadratic. So we cannot apply this logic if this is not a quadratic. So we need to solve this in two cases. So this is, in fact, only case 1 if d is not 0. We need to deal with case 2 where d is 0. And if d is 0, well, this equation just becomes uh, minus, minus x, so plus x. Uh, plus 0 equals 0, and this equation does have one real solution, namely x is 0. And so in the case where d equals 0, if I call this equation star, star only has one solution as well. And so therefore the answer is actually c. What's the moral of the story here? Do not just use the discriminant. You have to check if it is genuinely a quadratic. This catches out so many people. In fact, I made a video about this um, maybe about a year or so ago, and it caught out a lot of people as well. Um, so do be super, super careful. A-level, they teach you to just go, ah, how many real solutions? Boom, go straight into the discriminant. Take a step back and think, does that apply? In this case, it doesn't when d is zero. So really, really nice problem, really good question to distinguish good students from excellent students. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.